गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो टूडे आई गॉट गैलेक्सी ए सेवेंटी वन दो हैव गैलेक्सी ए सेवेंटी वन द गुड न्यूज इज दैट दी वन यू आई सिक्स एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन रॉम पॉटेड फॉर द गैलेक्सी ए सेवेंटी वन एंड दिस इज एब्सोलूटली परफेक्टली रॉम वर्किंग ऑन गैलेक्सी ए सेवेंटी वन बी अमेजिंग रॉम वेरी अमेजिंग रॉम बिकॉज द लेटेस्ट फीचर्स दैट कमिंग विद दी वन यू आई सिक्स perfectly working after flashing the rom on galaxy a71 because the galaxy a71 was launched back in 2019 if i am not wrong and cannot be updated further from when you are 5.1 but after flashing the rom the galaxy a71 will get updated from when you are 5.1 to when you are 6.0 and from android 13 to android 14 so the rom is very perfectly working on galaxy a71 and we are getting all the latest features of one ui 6 working on galaxy a71 after flashing the rom i and i am 100% sure that you will love the rom you will in love with the galaxy a71 once again and you will get stick with this rom how to flash the rom you need to watch this tutorial video and do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel if you are not a subscriber of my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much do subscribe and do share it with others so others may also know how to flash the rom on galaxy a71 starting the procedure of flashing how to flash the one ui 6 or how to update the galaxy a71 to one ui 6 to latest one ui android 14 rom these are the files that we have to download and uh, uh it links all are provided in my video description just make a new folder and click the link download these files now if you are haven't installed the samsung usb driver so you need to download this samsung usb driver first and install it on your windows so the windows will detect the samsung you a mobile phone after installing this driver and then download the odin 3.13.1 the magis routing file to get the device certified and to get the integrity pass and also download the twrp recovery for the galaxy a71 snapdragon chipset mobile phone this is the rom file and the vb meta which will help to flash the custom recovery first of all we have to save all the internal storage data this procedure will format everything you have to save all the internal storage data and you have to check your mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum connect your mobile phone with the wifi or in case if you are not having in wifi zone then you can turn on your mobile data so i have connected the wifi in my mobile phone now we'll go to the mobile phone settings and then we'll go to about phone here you can see that the device that i have is galaxy a71 model number is a715f oplic ds dual sim mobile phone the mobile phone must be updated to the latest stock rom like currently i have one ui 5.1 and y13 now on this screen tap the build number for seven times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 developer mode has been enabled we'll go back to settings now then scroll down and you can see developer options over here tap to open the developer options here you will see oem unlocking which is already turned off we have to turn it on for unlocking the boot loader in case if you cannot see oem unlocking then what we have to do is to go back tap the software update and tap download and install let's check the mobile phone for the update for once like currently i have kind of updated software so my mobile phone is showing the software is updated now we'll go back in case if you cannot find oem unlocking in developer option after checking the software update then you going back to developer option you will see definitely oem unlocking will be back in developer option now check the developer option must be turned on and turn on the oem unlocking before starting the procedure tap enable so the oem unlocking is turned on now go back if in case if you are having any samsung account google account must sync your google account once then remove it must sync your samsung account then remove it otherwise 
this the mobile phone will not get the twrp recovery if the samsung account is not removed from the mobile phone now go back and go to your lock screen turn off the lock screen by selecting the swipe if you have done all these things then you can simply power off the mobile phone but i will uh, remind you once again that we have to save all the internal storage data the data will get be formatted starting the procedure by extracting the odin 3.13.1 in same folder and then you open the extracted folder of odin 3.13.1 and double click the 3.13.1 the odin file on next window the pop-up window click ok and the odin will get open on the odin click ap then go to your downloaded folder and uh, select the twrp for galaxy a71 check the extension must be dot tar click on it then click open and then click cp on the odin go again to your downloaded folder and this time select the vp meta disable dot tar by clicking on it then click open and Odin is ready to flash the customer recovery on the mobile phone. Check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer. We have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Then we will unlock the bootloader and then we will proceed the further steps. When mobile phone gets power off, then press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, you will see a warning screen. Then release both keys. Here we go. I have released the both keys after uh, seeing the warning screen. Now on this screen, you will see that uh, press and hold the volume up key for a long time to unlock the device or to unlock the bootloader. So I will uh, press and hold the volume up key for a long time. Now you can release the volume up key. Here you can see that unlock bootloader. Volume up key, uh, press the volume up key once. Yes. Or press the volume down key. No. I have to unlock the bootloader to get the One UI 6 ported ROM on the mobile phone. So I will press the volume up key once to let the mobile phone unlock the bootloader. But uh, do we have to press and hold the volume up key, volume down key again to boot the mobile phone once again into Odin mode. So the warning screen appears once again and the bootloader is now unlocked. Now I will uh, press the volume up key once for to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Press the volume up key once again, the, mobile, the screen will get light up. Now let me show the uh, the Odin screen of my mobile phone. Your mobile phone Odin screen must be like this. You can see that uh, current binary is Samsung official. FRP lock is off. OEM lock is off. And in a bracket, you will see U, which means that bootloader is already unlocked. And KG status must be checking. It must be checking, otherwise the recovery will not get flash. So the mobile phone finally booted into Odin mode and connected also with the computer. Now coming back towards a computer screen. Now go to the option on the Odin screen and tick the auto re reboot from here. Go back to log and come down here and uh, click start. Recovery flashing will get started. And you will see pass message means that recovery got flash. Now you can exit the uh, Odin by clicking the reset. Then clicking the exit button, we'll go back to downloaded folder and coming back towards the mobile phone. Now here I would like to inform you that maybe, maybe or maybe not. In case if after booting the mobile phone into custom recovery, the custom recovery screen will get appears and then suddenly the mobile phone will get reboot and it will start booting to stock ROM. The set started booting. We have to forcefully manually booting the mobile phone into custom recovery once again. How exactly to do that? You need to watch the further steps. Now the mobile phone still booted into Odin mode. Recovery got flash very perfectly. Now we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery for that i need your concentration the cable will be connected in whole procedure do not disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now on this screen 
we have to boot a uh, mobile phone into twrp recovery we have to press and hold the volume up key then volume down key and power key cable is connected the mobile phone will reboot release the volume down key first when you see the samsung logo then release the power key but do not release the volume up key until you see the custom recovery screen pressing the and holding the volume up key volume down key and power key also mobile phone rebooted i have released the volume down key first now i have released the power key and on this screen release the volume up key once and immediately press the volume up key once again now wait for the custom recovery you will see the custom recovery screen will get appears and it will do some formatting thing then suddenly the set will restart so now we have to forcefully reboot the mobile phone into custom recovery once again doesn't matter if mobile phone started booting into stock rom just press and hold the the volume up key volume down key and power key once again when mobile phone reboot so immediately release the volume down key first and when you see logo then immediately release the power key and then release the volume up key once and immediately press it again just hold wait for a few seconds and the mobile phone will finally boot it into custom recovery finally tap y then tap format data type y e s and tap here then go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery recovery boot it once again hopefully the internal storage will appears with proper form you can see that and we can copy paste this time go back to the downloaded folder and copy the rooting file magis 26.4 the rom file from the downloaded folder copy the uh, rooted file and the rom file from the downloaded folder and paste it to the mobile phone internal storage okay we got both files on the internal storage of the mobile phone coming back towards the mobile phone double tap and swipe to unlock the screen then tap wipe and tap advanced wipe select delvic art cache then data then cache that's all swipe then go back to the main screen tap settings tap the third menu and uh, uh, make the screen time out to maximum go back to the main screen tap install select the rom file first by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing okay we got script succeeded flashing done now tap the back key once go to this uh, uh, window and then select the routing file by tapping on it and swipe okay done then tap reboot system just look the data cable still is it is connected because uh, we are not done with the data cable now here we have to wait the mobile phone will st uh, soon start booting to the one ui 6 rom it will take a little time so we have to wait now we got the setup screen finally the first boot completed i have to complete the setup screen now so finally rom got flash very perfectly i will go to settings then we'll go to let me change the phones we'll go to display font size and style bold tapping the font style selecting the uh, bold one now we'll go to the about phone now here you can see that the model name got changed because this rom is ported from the galaxy s23 the model number is now s 911 b oblique ts but, but the mobile phone is still galaxy a71 so i will go to software information to show that the mobile phone got updated from one ui 5.1 to one ui 6.0 from android 13 to android 14. now we have to route the mobile phone the cable is still connected scroll down not notification bar tap the usb for file usb for file transfer tap again to change uh, i will tap first charging phone only 
then we'll tap transfer fi transferring files android auto internet storage pop up on the computer screen we'll go to downloaded folder and this time i will copy the routing file once again and also the play integrity fix file copy both files from here go to your mobile phone internal storage and paste both files on the internal storage of mobile phone and done now you can disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone and we'll go back to main screen go menu tap samsung folder tap open my files and tap internal storage tap essentials select all scroll down first install the magis file tap settings allow permission and tap install okay done go back to menu and tap magis to open it tap allow requires additional setup your device needs additional setup for magis to work properly do you want to proceed and reboot yes uh, here we have to boot for once tap ok to let the set boot then we will continue once again i will go to menu open the magis application and here we have to tap cancel every time when this pop-up window comes tap cancel tap settings then scroll down and turn on the zyges over here right go back tap modules tap install from storage and then tap recent select galaxy a71 change the view scroll down and select the play integrity fix file this is the module file tap it and then tap ok to let the set install this module on your mobile phone and when it, it is done then tap reboot now tap and keep tapping the play store then on this window tap here for more information and then tap storage and tap clear all data here then delete done now go back then go to settings and uh, go to apps and tap here and tap show system apps ok search p l a y p l a y now this time tap google play services and tap storage clear all data of display services also tap clear data then clear all data delete done now log in your gmail account open your google play store then download the root and safety net checker from the google application this one right check the root status first by tapping the check now you will see that the set is rooted and then tap the safety net section and uh, tap check now definitely you will see the basic integrity will be will show fix and will pass uh, which means that the device is certified and uh, the google in play integrity is fixed and uh, your set is uh, certified you can uh, use your mobile phone with the device is certified so this is how to flash the one ui6 rom on galaxy a71 hopefully you will get the rom and enjoy it after flashing it do not forget to like the video and keep sharing it thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye